Rather than being disheartened by the uncertainty of life, what if we accepted it and relaxed into it? What if we said, yes, this is it, the, the way it is. This is what it means to be human and decided to sit down and enjoy the ride. A highly individual charmer, Rita Sue and Prince Andrew too. Cornwall Council clocks up nearly 10 million in parking profits. It's about keeping the roads un un unscrambled up, is it bollocks? Cornwall Council clocked up nearly £10 million in profit from parking charges last year, figures reveal. The AA says many local authorities see drivers as a wallet on wheels and have has accused that some of using parking fees to plug budget gaps. But the Local Government Association says such revenue was spent on parking services and transport projects. Bullshit! Parking services in Cornwall raised £9.7 million in profit in 2018-19, according to Ministry of, House, Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government data. It's all about keeping the roads unclogged and nothing about putting a load of money in our own back pockets. Oh, actually it is. The Paradise Papers reveal that the Queen is the worst parasite of them all. While hard-working Brits have to declare every penny, HRH is forgiven for being unaware of where her millions are invested, says columnist Annie Brown. It should come as no shock that royal cash has been invested offshore in the unscrupulous sharks of Bright House. There is a far... There is a fag paper of difference between the parasitical nature of the Royal Institution and Bright House, who have made millions lending to the poor. Though the leaked Paradise Papers, through the leaked Paradise Papers, we now know the Duchy of Lancashire has invest invested 10 million in offshore funds in the Cayman Islands. But the, they're a part of the British, no they're not, they're German at best, and not even that, they're Zionist in the end. Now this driver fined 100 at BP for taking too long. Of course, if we all stopped going to BP and anyone else that does this sort of shit, they'd soon stop it. It's only because you're daft enough to go and let them get away with it. Motorists filled up, popped into the attached MNS, used the car wash, then received a parking charge. First it was retail parks, then came station car parks, now drivers who will fill their car up at garages or use the car, car wash are being hit with a hundred pound demand from private parking companies for staying too long and of course private parking companies you can just bin it or send it back to them address you not recognized because of course they will be writing to the legal fiction and not you the man or woman <clears throat> First it was retail parks, then came station car parks. Now drivers who fill their car up at garages or use the car wash are being hit with a £100 demand from private parking companies for staying too long. Both BP and Shell, if we both, if we all avoid BP and Shell, they'll stop it immediately. Have been quietly signing up parking firms to install CCTV cameras at the entrances and exits of petrol stations which are then used to enforce a maximum stay limit, which can be 30 minutes at a PB BP station and as little as 20 minutes at a Shell station. Fail to comply and you'll face £100 demand and the threat of a debt collectors. Well, they can threaten all they want. The problem is that few drivers are aware of the maximum stay that have been appearing in at four courts at all over the country. They particularly catch out those who are filling up, go on to the other services such as a calf shops or especially car washes. The restrictions have to be clearly signed and pet at petrol stations but drivers say they can be easily missed when negotiating business busy sites or junctions particularly after dark. Gareth Hughes who lives in South London is a BP customer who fell foul of this policy. He was recently sent a letter threatening the debt collect recovery agents after he failed to pay 100 parking fine. 
charge demand by Met Parking Services, a private company contracted by BP. His crime? He exceeded the 30-minute maximum permitted stay at the busy BP garage on Mitcham Road in Croydon, South London. After I filled the up the car, I went to, in to pay. I decided while paying to uh, also use the car wash and having paid for the return that returned to the car. There were perhaps six cars in front of me waiting for, to use the car wash. I, I certainly didn't see any signs warning the, of 30 minute limit, he says. Stop using BP and Shell and we'll end this bullshit. <coughs> Baking soda cancer treatment, sodium, sodium bicarbonate by Colleen Hubber. NMD. Does the baking soda cancer treatment, aka sodium bicarbonate, work? Colleen Hubber, M NMD. Dr. Tullio Simonucci is a medical doctor in Italy who has done more than than any other anyone to explore the use of baking soda cancer treatment as an alternative to cancer treatment. It is known that cancer creates and favours an acid environment and because of this Dr Simonici and others have used sodium bicarbonate as an alkaline therapy agent. The way that acidity seems to protect cancer is not fully understood. It seems that cytotoxic T cells which may attack cancer cells under normal conditions are inactivated in an acid extracellular fluid also the type of acidity and cancer produces i.e lactic acid stimulates vascular endothelial growth factor and angiogenesis this is like a highway project which enables a tumor to build up the blood vessels that it needs to bring the nutrients for it to survive so the tumor creates an environment in which it can then exist Com comfortably. Baking soda's alkalinity fights cancer acidity. At a pH of about 10, sodium bicarbonate is a antidote to this acidity. It can be used clinically in sterile intravenous form. This is a liquid sterile bicarbonate of soda. The baking soda cancer treatment is well tolerated even with frequently repeated dosing. Of course, it needs to be aluminium free sodium bicarbonate we all often recommend we will often recommend that some of our cancer patients take a quarter to a half a teaspoonful in water orally a few times per day as an adjunct adjunct to our other therapies this is not suitable for everyone and may have repercussions in various organ systems it takes to excess we are not advertising anyone to do this unless they have been a patient at our clinic and we recommend it to, to specific individuals also there is a risk of aluminium contamination with some available brands of baking soda so one must be cautious which with which this so basically just check on the ingredients if it says aluminium in it you don't want it you want it aluminium free the Westminster child abuse cover-up how much did MPs know? Well, without reading this, I know I can tell you that they knew everything that was going on and they still protected the paedophile MPs. Claims that establishment covered up a paedophile ring at the heart of Westminster are finally being investigated decades after rumours first surfaced. Michael White, who was a parliamentary reporter at the time, asks veteran politicians why no one wanted to believe the worst. Another day... Another set of shocking headlines about allegations of historical child abuse and high-level cover-ups. This time a dossier being handed over to, by the Metropolitan Police themselves to the Independent Police Complaints Commission to examine 14 allegations of Scotland Yard's own complicity in the alleged uh, cover-up of a high-level paedophile ring. Two weeks ago it emerged that former MP Harvey Proctor's 
Grace and Favour home in Belvoir Castle had been raided by police investigating historic allegations of child abuse. Proctor has denied any involvement in or knowledge of the allegations establishment abuse. Other claims fester. A raid was also made on the home of former Home Secretary Leon Britton. <clears throat> Blue badge for anxiety to be given go-ahead as hidden disabilities to be counted for first time. Blue badges are for anxiety are set to be given the green light as the government acknowledges hidden disabilities for the first time. The Department of Transport, DFT, had, has today issued new guidelines to councils advertise, advising parking attendants that people with conditions such as dementia or anxiety disorders could be elig eligible for the scheme. Stop payments for non-currently serving politicians like Tony Blair who last year claimed over a million pounds in expenses even though he's not an MP anymore. Let us stop all payments to non-currently serving politicians. The age of entitlement is over. You and I are not paid for jobs that we no longer carry out. Make this the same for all Australians. It's the same in this country. Stop all entitlements, payments, allowances, including travel allowance for politicians who are no longer currently serving the Australian public or the British public. The only way to change things is to make it happen for ourselves. This is something the politicians will not take, make happen. We have to insist on this happening. And it's the same in this country. The Observer. Labour pleasures 58 billion to help women caught in pension trap. Well, just take 8 billion of that 58 billion and end the poverty that is been pushed onto everyone that's living on the streets or that's hungry or it's in fuel poverty and and all that sort of thing so don't come with this bullshit saying that's all going to be used to, to help women caught in pension trap when you could use eight billion of it to help the poor the needy those living on the streets but no that's not your plan is it because your plan is to make it look like you actually give a shit about anyone when in actual fact it's quite clear you don't because if you did there wouldn't be anyone living on the streets because and that is an utter disgrace in this time we owe debt of honor to millions corbyn defends naturally on neutrality on brexit yeah johnson tax vowed to put money back in pockets see they all come out with these bullshit oh i'm gonna cut your tax and and then when they get in they do exactly the opposite don't fall for this same bullshit by every party again. Singing Corbyn's praises. Yeah. The Observer view of the Labour manifesto. It's a radical vision, but it is it too much for a five-year plan? Mirror. <clears throat> Christmas appeal, please help cancer kids like Matilda. Well, get her on some baking soda for a start. How about that? Oh, no, no, because that don't work, even though it's somebody that's got all the ingre all the letters after his name saying that it does. We're not going to do that. Miles will, Miles will go after anything with a pulse, says his ex. New Prince Andrew girl. He blew raspberry into my breasts. Epstein paid me to entertain him. He said I should pose for sexy mag. Because he's a paedophile. Or let's call it what it is, a child rapist. 57 billion Labour pledge. So it's 58 in that one, it's 57 in this one. Well, take the 7 or 8 billion and end the homelessness, end the poverty. But no, that's not the plan, as we know. And we're all starting to see through it now. And when the time finally comes and we come down and drag you out of that house of corruption, don't be surprised what happens, because you'll deserve it, every single one of you. Payouts to 3.8 million women denied pensions those born in the 50s could be in line for cash sums of up to 31,300 under new plan well 31,300 times 3.8 million isn't 57 billion i can guarantee you that so this is more lies in the papers and whether it's lies by the 
Corbyn or whatnot. It doesn't matter. It's there. You just work, figure, work the, the maths out. In fact, I, I do it myself, but I just can't be bothered. I ain't got anything around me to do it. But 3.8 million times 31,000 is not 57 billion. So this is more lies, because what will happen is the majority will get siphoned off into the back pockets of some of the friends who will be running this bullshit instead of it going where it should go, ending homelessness and ending poverty, which could be ended easily. But that's not the plan. Keep them poor, keep them afraid, you'll keep them under control. But not anymore, because people have had enough. People are sick of living in fear and poverty. And we can see that's the weapons you've been using against us. So it's very short time you have left to change your ways or suffer the consequences that you all deserve. Daily fail. As Boris pledges triple tax freeze. Yeah, believe that. And you're just as dumb as they think you are. An unprecedented warning from ex-secret intelligence service boss, MI6 chief, Corbyn security danger. Ah, OK. From the paper that broke the scandal, the definitive truth about this picture. Express. Prince scandal has damaged the monarchy, says new poll. We need to get rid of them and then prosecute them for their crimes. They have all, every single one of them, have committed against children and us. When a whole, when a family ha could end world, and I'm not just talking about the UK, world poverty single-handedly and still be trillionaires and they don't nothing, that shows you who they are and why they don't give a shit about any of us. So we're going to have to do it ourselves. PM, my big Christmas gift to Britain. Brexit by January. Wait a minute, we had Brexit by March, Brexit by October, Brexit by January now. Bullshit. Don't fall for this. Bullshit lies again. Pensions go up and tax rises are blamed. Hospital car park charges slashed and action on energy bills. Absolute misdirection there. Do not fall for that. He's one of them, always has been, and is never going to be anything else but one of them. He's a self-admitted Zionist. He got, When he was in uh, Eton... He went into uh, Cameron's room, smashed his stuff up and then just threw money at him saying, this is how we do things. So if you think he's got any care for us, you're crazy. As I said, it's the telegraph. Tories to axe hospital car parking fees for millions. Not, not completely. You'll notice they're not saying completely. And of course, once they get in, they don't do it anyway. So don't fall for it. Duke's business activities must be scrutinised by Parliament. That's one cr bunch of crooks scrutinising another crook. Wow, guess what's going to happen there? Trade unions, £600,000 to fund strike that destroys Christmas. Uh, waste of paper. Corrie Kim maimed by her chichawa. Chich what a waste of paper. Why does anyone waste anything on that shit? Sunday Times. Boris, I pledge not to raise your taxes and Labour offers 3.7 million women £100 a week. Which they should have already been getting anyway. Queen cancels Andrew's 60th bash. And pedo Charlie looking at a man's willy is the picture, of course. Top brass plans shrink to shrink army because it's being taken over by the EU military and we, they don't want us to be able to defend ourselves. We aren't leaving Europe. Clarkson's climate bombshell. Well, I couldn't give a shit what that wanker has to say. <clears throat> a lion will never cheat on his wife, but a tiger would. A man is in a terrible car accident where he lost his left arm and left leg. He's all right now. Did you hear about the Italian chef that died recently? 
he passed away. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay, he woke up. I once farted in an elevator. It was wrong on so many levels. Last night in bed, I was gazing up at the stars and thinking to myself, where the heck is my roof?